Welcome back everyone. I have returned. That's a stupid entrance. Now, so I'm back after a long time um, to do an update on the Searl Effect Generator replica. Today I'm going to be showing you uh, some new core samples I got. Instead of using neodymium, it's way on my budget line, I'm going to be using uh, Nickel 200. So I just received the package. I'm going to open it up, um, cut it, machine it, or at least attempt to, and see how it finishes off. Stay tuned. All right, here she is. So, they really packed this thing pretty well, as you can see. Uh, this is only a nickel rod. My gosh, it's in there well. This is only a nickel rod, uh, three quarter thickness by 36 inches. I'm gonna do something drastic and put it on the saw. Right, so just cut off the cap, not the actual material. I think it's metal case or something. Okay, no prying necessary. Ooh, and there it is. Hmm. Not all that exemplary looking. Just looks like a piece of steel. Looks like mild steel. That's kind of a, let's say a yellow tan tint to it. Almost like it might be a, a drill, one of those drill bits. I don't know how to describe it. Okay, so I'm gonna do, this is kind of the polished edge I want. And uh, so I'm gonna stick this end on a lathe. I'm gonna do it. Okay, so I'm gonna probably cut this end off just to see how fast it cuts, how many minutes. Then stick it on the lathe and then uh, polish it down. Well, it was good. This took about three minutes to cut through. <laughs> which is almost like cutting through mild steel. Um, I was worried maybe it was gonna be like cutting titanium, which probably would have taken three hours, which I've, I've done that before. But this only took about three minutes. It was real quick. This looks like um, mild steel, but it says nickel 99 or nickel 200, whatever. So, <laughs> polish the cut end and get a little quarter inch blank and make our first quarter inch little blank for the center of each roller. So, basically, this process will have to be repeated 96 freaking times. And uh, each piece has to be exactly 0 0.250 in thickness. So here we go. I know I'll get my gloves for my pretty little hands. So as you can see, uh, this is a new place. I moved in here in August, me and my wife, not into this place, but this is just part of the facility. Um, this area I'm working in is 200% bigger than the shop I used to have, a rent. Uh, this time I actually own it now. And so there's a lot of area to expand. Um, yeah. So great place, all the power I need. Uh, I won't have any neighbors around to disturb me. Um, so look forward to more videos doing this in this uh, new shop and uh, having some fun. 
So I'm going to set this to cut at probably the same speed I cut mild steel, maybe uh, around 360 RPM, nothing fast. I'll see how it acts. Uh, I love the speed when I cut titanium rod at 1000 RPM. It was kind of the sweet spot. Um, below that, it just cut too slow. Higher than that, it started to catch on fire, which was fun. Right. <laughs> um, so 360 will be the speed I'll start at if I can pick up the speed because it's a different element compared to uh, mild steel. I'll go ahead and pick up the speed and see what happens. Oh yeah, that's kind of good. You can see it already. I think it's a little high though. It's too slow. Let's pick up the pace. Let's do uh, 800 RPM. Woo! <laughs> That's <just> nice. <laughs> wow, okay. Oh, technology. Okay, that's... That's not bad. That was a rough cut. And it cut pretty darn smooth, except for a little bit of a line. So I'm just gonna go to a trace cut again. I might just get away with cutting this a couple passes and not even have to bother sanding the darn thing. I like this material. This, so this video is more to show a, a first time cutting nickel and of course if i'm first that means there are losers no whatever it's just nickel rod but apparently i'm the first to show a video uh, to be the uh cutting actual just plain nickel there's companies showing off their own metal blah 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 but me um actually just cutting metal rods not something that has been done i just use uh the boring bar. And then one of the things I use is I actually, instead of cutting in, I cut out. Kind of the opposite. So that you're cutting, uh, it's probably relevant information for most people, but right there, you cut on this edge and not on the tip. Especially your back cutting. I cut a little over 3.5. Uh, 3.5. A little over 3.30 on the saw. Who cares? Um, the point is, hmm, okay. That's still so freaking hot. It's got dented on the side. I have to be like real careful with this stuff. It must be much softer than I thought. This is actually dented because it dropped on the floor from about 20 inches high. You can see right there. Okay, I'm, I thought this was going to be like super hard material and it's really soft. All right, so I had to go ahead and machine a special brass fitting uh, to go in there to hold this piece offset it. That way I can cut this down a bit and have the tool on the lathe set precisely so every time I cut one of these, it'll be set the same way. So I know where it's going to be placed. So this, this thing goes inside the chuck. I'll show you. Pops off. Basically a plug goes inside. Now this is a two inch chuck, it's real small, but I don't have collets, which collet would actually work probably really good for this kind of thing. All right, the little teeny chuck is mounted and right I start turning. Uh, I turn this down to point two five zero, approximately. All future ones will have to be exactly point two five zero, but this one's only for reference for the video. There it is. All cut nice and looking pretty. At point two five zero. All right, so that only took about ten minutes to get done. It's nice and polished, uh, pure nickel. Cuts like butter, just unbelievably easy. I say this stuff is easier than mild steel to cut. What a wonderful product.